this edition we're doing the bigger hammerhead. Um, generally this trace that I'm going to show you is my preferred one for hammers in excess of 40 kilos. What we require for that would be some very thick nylon. This is Maxima 36 kilo. 90 pound surflon. It's very flexible and you need that for hammers. Um, your standard solid ring. Uh, two kinds, size 5 and size 7. Over there. Turn a circle look, 8 0 or 9 0. It's up to you, it's for your personal preference. The saltwater dangles that Kingfisher make, they are absolutely phenomenal for catching hammerheads. And I'll show you when it comes to the bait presentation part of how to catch bigger hammers. Soft B, these are the Kingfisher soft. Uh, plastic beads. Uh, you can use a clear bead but this one is a nice one, it protects the knots. And uh, of course our Kingfisher sinker clips. Okay, to start off with, in the deck, we require our Nanos, some Maya, our surf line. We're going to take some surf line, about 30 centimeters, One circle hook, and that 8 0, believe me, is most probably the best hook to use for catching those 60 kilo hammerheads. The reason being, it's very small, it fits right in the side of the mouth, and they don't bite you off. Hammerheads of 60 kilos do not have a mouth bigger than that. So, using big hooks, big J hooks, bigger circle hooks is actually a waste of time, and as you know. Hammerheads are very, very sharp feeders. To tie the actual trace, what we're going to do is we're going to take our surf line, seven by seven, go in through the top, like you can see over there, pinch it with your fingers, and now wrap it around six to seven times. It's very simple. You can go around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, come through the top. and pull tight. Now what we do is just hook it in somewhere, anywhere you want. I'm going to hook it in underneath here. And we just take a lighter. Okay. Put it on a very dull heat and all you want to do is literally just melt the plastic. And there we go. Just for a little bit of lubrication to what's the name of it? Stop it from burning you. Cut up that little tag in. Okay. All we're gonna do to join it is nylon three times around your finger. You're forming a figure of eight. Figure of eight, open it up, there's your figure of eight. Bit of lubrication and pull tight. There it is there. Then what we're gonna do again is do the nylon, uh, the wire onto the nylon, and we're gonna go around twice. Once, twice, go through, open up, there's your figure of eight. Bit of lubrication, just push your nylon down to the end. Then what we're going to do is just bite. Pull the two together as tightly as you can. And cut the tag ends off nicely. You make this about a meter in length. So from there to there about a meter. And cut it off. Take a solid ring. Attach it with a figure of eight knot. One, two, three times around.
full tight, just take a circle look in your solid ring just to make sure everything's tight. Pull against one another. It just seats the actual knot a lot better. Cut that off. And that's basically what it looks like. We then take a dangle. And the dangle itself would pop through there. Okay. And to see the rest of the trace, just refer back to the scalloped, the small scalloped trace to see how the rest of this trace uh, progresses. Okay.